How's it going everybody? It is July 11th, 2018, and today we're going to be covering Mauna Loa. I, I haven't really went in depth, and today I really felt like it would be the perfect time to take a look because we are having swarms of earthquakes around there. I put out a video roughly two weeks ago, which was mocked. Uh, people saying there's no no way Mauna Loa is going to go and not only can it not go that Mauna Loa and Kilauea are not connected They have they, they don't work together at all. That's just nonsense Well, if you are uh, if you are someone who was saying that and if you're still around This video is going to prove you wrong and those who do listen to me Please sit down and enjoy yourself. So we will start here. I have a bunch of little clips I'm going to show you I have the live earthquake map open right now from USGS. I just wanted to kind of put in perspective of what I'm talking about uh, earthquake wise. Now this is just from today. I don't have it mapped for a week. But if you go to a week you'll notice it's all around Mauna Loa. I will play this first clip which this is the clip I had two weeks ago. It was talking about the signs of what we would see if Mauna Loa was to start waking up. Zone of Mauna Loa inflates with magma. The entire mountain swells, which means that the outer slopes get steeper. There are probably a, a succession of small earthquakes, and then maybe a big earthquake that shakes loose this very steep western flank of the volcano. Okay, what he's talking about that has happened before, there are over here, over, it's known as I said, the Alika event. There's been two times happened. There was a small event and then the larger event, which is the second one. Right off here to the southwest rift zone of Mauna Loa. This has happened in the past, uh, about 120,000 years ago. Um, I have we're we're gonna go in depth about this. So here we are. Uh, before but before we go into it, I want to continue to kind of give you a little more information on Mauna Loa and kind of paint a better picture. Predictable. I'm this is gonna tell you. I I had asked if anyone knew what what started Mauna Loa's eruption in 1980 what what triggered the eruption was it was there a ton of activity going on there like there is now a bunch of earthquakes or was it just one big earthquake what had happened so I found a video that actually says what had happened but predictable a 1975 eruption at Mauna Loa was preceded only by an earthquake two hours earlier so that's it one earthquake two hours earlier set off the 1980 eruption of Mauna Loa one okay so we have tons of earthquakes going on right now and not only do we have that Kilauea is falling in on itself which is the reason why I believe it, it's gonna cause Mauna Loa to go so before I show you Kilauea falling in on itself let me show you this picture or diagram if you would like this Kilauea so as if you if we pull up the image right now uh, where are you image I'm sorry, here we are, right here. I'll show this and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the Kilauea caldera over the past, this is June 15th to the current date. It's falling at about an average of six feet, roughly, a day. Some places a little more. And you gotta understand, it's collapsing all the way down to the chamber. We saw, as we saw the vol as we saw all the lava, first kind of escape out and go down the eastern rift zone this is all falling down on itself so what happens all that weight all that pressure what's it do it's gonna push down they share a lava plume I have said this before and you don't even have to take my word for it I'm about to show a bunch of videos that not only say that but they like I said there's plenty of proof so Kilauea is falling in on itself what is that doing it's pushing up it's pushing down on this raising this what are we getting now? Succession of earthquakes on the side of Mauna Loa, in and around it, and around the other volcano, um, Halawal. Oh God, it. this one, Halawalai, something like that. And let me see if I can go to a week without lagging my computer real bad. Now we're not getting a bunch, but we are just starting to get earthquakes all around here. And it, it, it just sit there and try to start speculating what's really going on. If this keeps collapsing in on itself, which is a ton of weight, it's pushing down on a magma plume. It's causing pressure to rise up on the other side where it's, so if you push all the gas down, you have a bag full of gas, you push the gas down on one side, the gas is going to escape the other side. The other side is Mauna Loa. So push down, up, here we go. And so we'll start for this video now. This will tell you what, ha what I've been kind of speculating and what I think could happen. At the same time, 
The 1984 eruption of, of Mauna Loa was noteworthy in sense that, yes, both Mauna Loa and, and Kilauea erupted. It's proof that literally anything can happen on the Big Island. It's all completely ridiculous. You could have a Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and Hualalai at the same time. It's possible. Okay, so, as he just said, it is possible to have all three go at the same time. How is it possible? Well, in my opinion, well, having an event as what we're having right now on Hawaiian Island. That's how it's possible. Uh, Loihi, which is not, it, it's marked on here, but it's not marked as an active volcano, is marked as an active volcano and one step away from erupting on the volcano discovery map so i don't have that pulled up but i have talked about it recently so that's another volcano which is right here that's awakened but it's not it's so far off the coast i don't think it's going to really affect the main island but regardless as i said it's with Kilauea collapsing in on itself it's causing pressure on the main plume and it's pushing out the gas on the other side which is causing other earthquakes it's causing the magma to move to you know it it's not good now here's another event this is another short clip this is from um randall carlson talking about the alika uh, mega slide that happened here's alika mega slide the alika mega slide yes that was from a tsunami that was at least 1200 feet in height good God. And that passed over the Hawaiian Islands 120,000 years ago. And no one knows. And they don't, they're not exactly sure what triggered They know the mo the volcanic eruption didn't trigger it, but they know it was from a debris slide. Because you can see it out here whenever you look on um, Google Earth or something, you can see the debris field out on the uh, southwest side of Mauna Loa. So take that into just, this video is just to raise awareness. Now I'm not going to go over this, but this is an entire... 21 pages a great journal research page over the giant uh, submarine alika debris slide of Mauna Loa on Hawaii so if you have the time I'll link that for you you can take time and go over all that um, I'll show this I, I just showed this so I'm going to show this video it's just another interesting video of watching some lava if my computer wants to load it if it doesn't we'll just skip it okay it does want to load we're just going to skip it Oh, maybe it's right here. I lied. All right. Uh, Kilauea's lower east rift zone lava oozes. Oh, play. It's I. It's only lagging because I have the other one open and I'm recording, so I apologize. Kind of crazy though. Really good footage. We can close that now. I'm gonna wrap this video up with. The NSARS, and I, I, this is going to kind of depress, or maybe not really depress, but really kind of sadden the people who like looking at the NSARS, because I don't know why, well, first off, I don't know what happened. Like, they changed up the website, I assume just because they're getting so many, they're updating it all the time, so they're having to kind of compress and fit on the page better, but this one's not here, the 7 to 2000, or the 7 to the 710 is not here. Um don't know why it's the 11th usually they're pretty good about having it the day of so this is the first time I've been on here and not seeing the one that's supposed to be there and be there and when I click on it, it says it's not found um, I don't want to say there's a red flag or that they're trying to hide stuff maybe it's just not there I'm gonna check later on today and I suggest you do as well I'll leave the link maybe you can check back maybe be there tomorrow however as I said typically it's usually uploaded the same day there they usually do a good job about it, so it just kind of raises red flags for me. Um, we'll go ahead now, take a more in-depth look. We'll look around at Kilauea. We'll try to pull up some pictures. We'll take a look at the tilt charts or the um, tilt monitors, little meters down here, tilt meters, and let's see what's going on. Oh, before I do that though, I'm gonna pull on my cameras. Okay, so here's Kilauea, right here. If you haven't noticed, um, or if you haven't watched my previous videos, I have been taking a look at all these tilt meters uh, about three, four times a week. I try to look at them in my videos so you guys can see the progression of what's going on. Uh, this one's been out for a while now. It went out as soon as all this ground back here started collapsing in. So we've been going off this one, and this one's been steadily falling for, um, I'd say, about the fourth fourth or fifth it started it's been falling ever since and that's that one right there that one's gonna be completely gone these ones out here are being impacted too they're slightly falling 
and they've been falling for since maybe the fifth as well and that's pretty far out the main impact side if you look at it on the USGS it's not that big um, I guess I don't have a perfect picture right here I guess maybe I can actually pull up uh, one of the camera images yeah there we go so there you go it's not actually impacting the side it's on however I mean you see that deep crackle that's gonna probably start dropping anywhere you see steam coming out you can almost guarantee it will eventually start falling in and you need to understand what that what that happens so when that starts happening that's going to cause earthquakes all the earthquakes that we've been that have been reported recently you've seen like 5.0s a lot of those fives have all been uh collapse and eruption events so the it falls in on itself it builds up pressure explodes or or it just falls in it's just enough stuff that falls in on itself which triggers an earthquake uh but those are typically what we're seeing right now at kilauea with you know with it falling in on itself um okay i think that's all i had on that one so i'll go ahead and close actually hold on before i close it out let's look at these pictures these are all recent july 10th it's been going on this the east rift zone and the river the lava river is just insane to sit there and watch uh here's fisher eight the more act the i believe it's the most active one there's Kapoho Crater. Another good look at the lava river. Then this one flows all the way out to the ocean. And as I said, these NSARs, I'm not able to do a, like an updated look. I, said, I did this one last time. But I'll leave it linked so you, you can keep update. Maybe it'll be updated today after I put this video. No telling, but that's all I really wanted to show you, and I'll show you another or another uh, diagram. So look, so you kill away. If you imagine all, if you imagine the main crater, which is a ton of material falling in on itself. Look, it's just gonna fall in, which is gonna cause pressure down here. This is all connected. If you look, see if there's another one that's um, nice. Oh, this is just as good. And I apologize. I don't want you guys to say I'm unprepared. That's not me being unprepared. I just maybe I have. There's another one here. I had two of those I wanted to show you, but as I said, it's, there you go right there. So as it falls down, as I said, it, it can fall, it's falling thousands of feet, but this is where it interacts right here. So when you start pushing down, you're going to start getting more interaction between the two. And low Ihi is in an active state right now. I do not why I don't know why it's not marked on USGS, but on Volcano Discovery, at one time it was green, and then like I said, about two weeks ago, maybe a week ago, it was marked up to orange state. So it's one step away from being an eruption state volcano. Just just saying. Give you another look. So as I said, just keep keep looking at the um you want to look at the depths because the depth on Hawaii of where the magma chambers are is five to 10 uh, kilometers. So keep an eye on those depth ranges, anything deeper as well. Um, but where it happens, the Southwest Rift Zone is really important. That's where you want to look. That's where the swelling is going to happen. Uh, I would say do the GPS because that's what tells us where the ground's lifting and falling, but all these are out or dated. So unfortunately you won't be able to do any of that research. The NSARs are what provide the information the GPS won't, but the NSARs aren't even up to date now. So, unfortunately, I can't provide that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Everything you saw will be provided. This was just essentially to raise awareness. If you didn't understand, if you didn't know that Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and the other volcano, I can't say, and I apologize, that, were, that can erupt together, well, now you know. And not only that, you need. I, I try to provide some signs and some past history events of knowing that what I'm talking about is not speculation. This has happened. This this is all recorded. This is if you, I mean, if you just look it up for yourself. If you look at, if you just open up Google Earth, you can see the illegal landslide event right off the right off the coast of Mauna Loa uh, of Hawaii. Right. So, just take it upon yourself. If you do have questions, feel free to comment or do a little more research. I will have the links below so you can. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.